Good Samaritan Hospital's Department of Medical Education offers resident and fellowship training in several fields, including emergency medicine, family medicine, and pediatrics. Well, joining us now via Skype is Dr. Catherine Coronia, Chairman of the Department of Medical Education at Good Sam. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm so Good glad morning. you're here. First of all, could you just give us some background about the Graduate Medical Education Program, what it is? Yeah, we here at Good Samaritan, it's been uh, in existence for greater than 25 years. We have been training uh, physicians who are completed their medical school training and then join us to specialize in one of the fields. As you said, we have emergency medicine, family medicine, pediatrics, um, PM&R, uh, physical medicine, rehab, uh, podiatry. So we have many residency and fellowship programs. And this is where now the physicians go to really learn about a specific specialty or division of medicine uh, that they will uh, dedicate their professional careers to. What's the difference between a resident and someone in a fellowship program? So uh, a fellowship is where they uh, train to become even more specialized. So we have a minimally invasive gynecologic surgery program, which someone would come into to train further after they've actually completed and can be board eligible, even board certified in uh, obstetrics and gynecology. So they have completed a primary residency in a specialty, and now they're super specializing, if you will, or subspecializing in a specialty or in a, a medical field, if you will. So how many years of training does it take in, in a certain specialty? So it depends. A primary residency can be anywhere from three years to five years of training, and then another uh, two to five years of specialty training on top of that. So it can range really from uh, six, seven, uh, nine years of training um, after you've uh, graduated from medical school. Wow. How many graduates are in this year's class? Oh, we have 22 graduates, and that continues to increase. Uh, plus, we have another four graduates at our sponsored institution at Mercy uh, Hospital. And uh, we're very, very proud of them as they enter into the, the field and, and become our succession or farm team as they move out to provide uh, good uh, medical care to our community as well as across the United States. Yes, oh boy. So much work. They, you know, congratulations are due to all Thank of them. You. Wow, all those years and years and years of hard work. Do, um, do you have a lot of residents that end up like continuing their careers at Good Sam or in the Catholic health system? We do. And that's one of the, the exciting parts for us when uh, we have many of our residents really from the beginning of when we uh, started graduate medical education who have stayed within Catholic Health, have stayed in our area within our community providing care. And some of them have continued uh, here in medical education, joined us and are becoming leaders in their own right here. And we see them as our future here in graduate medical education uh, as we continue to develop, as we continue to grow, and certainly in the years to come. So uh, we're very, very proud of those, of all of our graduates, but certainly are thrilled when they uh, decide to stay here in Catholic Health and uh, here at Good Sam. I have to say that that, that really says a lot about the program. Yes, I believe it does. I think for the mentors, for the faculty, um, they really become part of our, our family here uh, at Catholic Health. So it's, it's a wonderful feeling for us all. So how did COVID affect the program over the last year? Nobody could have expected or even seen what was going to happen in the last year. But um, how did it affect you know, the residents and the, the, the fellows this year? Our residents and our fellows truly, uh, as well as all of our staff, our physicians, really came back and they were part of a very, very important team uh, in providing health care in a pandemic situation where we never, we didn't know what tomorrow was going to bring. Uh, I can say that they truly acted as the consummate professionals. They were our uh, lifeline and, and we theirs. Uh, working together really in a team-like approach. Um, I think that our goal to keep them well, to provide that support for them themselves uh, was really important to us. Um, but I will say that they truly stepped in, stepped up and worked side by side with all of our healthcare workers here at Good Sam, as well as throughout our Catholic Health um, in providing that quality care. 
Um, did it change what they were doing? Of course, our pediatric residents were taking care of adult patients as well. Yeah. Uh, whatever patients needed our care, uh, we were at their bedsides. And, and I have to say, I was extremely proud of our graduates and uh, their dedication to our patients, to our hospitals, and to our community. Wow. Now, I know last year, because of COVID, the graduation was held virtually. What happened this year? Yeah, so, so last year was a completely virtual uh, event. Uh, it was the best that we could do, and it, it actually turned out to be really beautiful uh, in its own right, if you will. Um, we used to have a, a very large 250, 275 people graduation for all of our graduates and their families. And this year we are separating it up. So we will have smaller celebrations, but each uh, program will hold a small uh, graduation program, uh, which we hope will be able to include some family members, uh, some of our faculty and some of the other residents as well. Yeah. Time to celebrate together, that's for sure. Yes, yes, Thanks. absolutely. Where, where would um, anybody who's interested in the program get more information? Um, certainly on our website, as well as um, they could always contact the Office of Graduate Medical Education here uh, at 631-376-4163, and we would be happy to um, work with them for the system. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Monsignor says hi, by the way. Uh, thank you. Hello, and thank you so much.